Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. It's been a little bit since I've posted a video. I had some technical difficulties for a while. And then I also got a new computer. My husband bought me a MacBook Pro for my birthday in February. And I'm not really a Mac user, so I've been trying to learn and get used to it. Uh, I usually recorded my videos on a Google Pixel phone and I have now upgraded to an iPhone 15 Pro which I'm also trying to learn how to use because again I've never been an iPhone or a Mac user so it's a whole new experience for me. Um, so that's why I haven't posted anything lately. My nails are looking pretty good. Uh, they did kind of break and chip and I've had to like cut them down. This one actually broke really bad. I had done some builder gel enhancements, some clear builder gel enhancements. And unfortunately when I recorded it, I didn't have the new iPhone settings correct. And every time I moved, everything went completely blurry. So that was a disappointment. So today I'm just going to do some gel polish. I recently got Madam Glam's Easter Egg 2024 Limited Edition collection and these are just so cute i've already opened it the box is gorgeous so let's see what we got in here i'm gonna just go ahead and take them out and get the box out of the way all right and i've gone ahead and swatched them so we have extravaganza it's kind of i would call it lilac a lilac kind of not really pink the bottle looks like it would be pink but it's not it's more of I would consider it lilac and then we have egg mania which is a light peach color and we have magic whispers which is a pastel blue and it comes with this really fun Easter topper called bunny's freckles and it's a clear topped coat with just some micro speckles in it and some pastel colors. It's really pretty, really cute. I do, they have these like really cute yellow speckles in it. I wish it had come with a yellow, a very pale yellow polish. It's something I don't have. So I don't have a plan, so I'm just going to see what happens. See, so you can see the topper a little bit better. And also this is, you know, all the, the Easter stuff, um, you know, people associated to eggs and baby chicks and bunnies and stuff. Um, I really don't support going out and buying those things for children or anything because they always get abandoned or die and not taken care of and that's just awful being a big animal lover that I am. I, however, have lots of chickens. You know, I always talk about being a self-proclaimed chicken lady. And I have recently hatched some chicks about every two weeks for the last six weeks. So um, I have some hatching in the incubator right now. Super cute. So let's see what we're going to do. I think I'm going to use extravaganza the kind of purpley color lilac color first and I am using my non-dominant hand so please excuse any weirdness I had painted my nails a different color and with regular nail polish and then put a <laughs> a gel top coat on it and um, I'm just trying to get it to level out. That's why I'm turning my finger upside down. I have ridges in my nails and dips and no matter how much I let them grow out, they just always seem to be in the same spot. So 
I don't know what that is. If it's just a, like a little hair or something. Or maybe it's leftover product that I didn't get off. Let's see if I can wipe it. So as I was saying, I had put a different color on my fingers earlier and put a gel top coat on it. And I guess the regular polish <laughs> wasn't fully dry, which is why I don't usually paint my nails with regular polish because I can't let them dry. I'm always smudging them. So I figured, oh, I'll just pop on a gel top coat. And unfortunately, I don't think the polish was fully dry before I put the gel top coat on. So it rippled and I immediately smudged it. So I had to take that all off. So then I decided oh, I'm not going to do regular nail polish. I'm just going to go ahead and use my new gels. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. I got the new Maniology Mani by me box and it's beautiful. I believe it's called Sky Dancers and it just has these really beautiful butterfly stamps and plates. They're just really gorgeous and so pretty. And it also came with these really nice foil and metallic stickers. There's two different kind of shades in here. So I thought maybe I, I might use one of those. I'm not real sure. We'll see what happens. They're cured and all done. I think this is a nice color. So I'm going to go ahead. I actually just now caught this on something. And it ripped like right there. And I'm sitting here kind of messing with it. Yeah, that's not going to be a good one to paint. So, I know I showed it at the beginning, but just a reminder, I'm using Magic Whispers, which is this really pretty pale blue. Now I'm going to go in with Agmania. It's kind of a, this kind of light peachy color. trying to, sorry about that, I was trying to adjust my lamp. Since this thumb is kind of wonky. a lot of focus for me to do this on this little short nubby. Alright, I'm not going to do an extra coat on the rest of them. I'm going to leave it like that. Again, that was the Peaches Eggmania. The blue is Magic Whispers. And the lilac is extravaganza. All really cool colors. I really like them. So 
Let's try this thick top coat again. It's so gloopy. I'm trying to figure out the best way to disperse. There's a I don't know if that was a hair or not. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing below and leave a comment. This helps me to improve and make better content as I go through this process. Bye.